course, if you want speed, who needs a bike? Try a 72 Buick Skylark 350 small block and get some serious internal combustion muscle. For all its failings, gasoline power is a cheap, efficient means of transportation. What is that, a matchbox car? Yeah, it'll match your ass. That's what it'll do. I don't think you know what you're picking on here. <laughs> but as I was about to find out... Are you challenging me? I sure am. If you want to get more speed and power out of a car... To the track? See you there. All right. You have to unplug your old ideas about what makes cars fast. David Cove faces off against John Whelan in a 1972 Datsun. Whoa! What's going on here? 11.8 seconds? He blew my doors off. What is this? It's a Datsun. Yeah, I see it's a Datsun, but what's under the hood? You know what? It's more important what's in the trunk. <laughs> what is it, a, a flux capacitor from Back <laughs> to the Future? That is a lithium polymer battery pack. This is an electric car? You didn't know that? We're not talking about a Prius here. It may look like a 1972 Datsun, but underneath this humble exterior lurks the white zombie which holds the record for the world's quickest street legal electric car. So where's like the pistons and the carburetor? Pistons? There are no pistons. There is no carburetor. There is a controller and there's an electric motor and there's a battery pack. It's that simple. That's the entire system? Yeah. It generates 538 horsepower. That's 50% more horsepower than my muscle car. But it's not the ponies that make the zombies so quick. So it's all about acceleration. And at the drag track, to accelerate, you need torque. Wait, so what do you mean by torque? I thought, I thought that's one of those things that's a, a spoon and a fork combined. <laughs> torque is turning force. It's the amount of energy you need to open a jar or turn a wrench. In the case of cars, it's the amount of force that's applied by the engine to the axle to turn the car's wheels. It's usually measured in a unit called foot-pounds. And, and how many does this car get? 1,250. That's more than a Dodge Viper and this souped-up Porsche combined. More than any car on the road ever. So if this was stopped at a stoplight, mm -hmm. and you had the most powerful gas car in the world next to you. That would be a Bugatti Veyron, about $2 million car. <laughs> and, and the light turns green. The this... Bugatti would be looking at our taillights instantly. Believe it or not, the hard part wasn't building a motor that powerful. It was figuring out a way to power it. In the case of the zombie, to go from 0 to 60 in 1.8 seconds, Wayland needed serious power, more than 50 Prius batteries worth. So how did he get that kind of juice? It took over 15 years of trial and error, dead ends and false starts, until the answer came to him from the sky. The batteries that start these Apache helicopters are some of the most powerful and efficient around. They use lithium, a highly reactive element, which means it can store a lot of energy, six times as much per ounce as the lead in your car's batteries. Problem is, lithium-based batteries store so much energy that they can also get really hot and start fires. The solution was to combine it with manganese, which generates much less heat. Wayland reconfigured them to power the zombie. There are 12 actual batteries. And not only do they allow him to go really fast, they also allow him to go farther on a charge. So all of a sudden, my little car here, instead of just being quick and fast, we're going 100 miles on a charge. OK, I'm sold. How much do you want for this? Oh, no, it's not for sale. <laughs> Would you like to drive it, though? OK, it's going to peel your face back a little bit. Your vision may get a little blurry at first because the blood runs out of your retina. Oh, man. Just kind of like being shot out of cannon. <laughs> You'll be fine, man. Thanks a lot. I think.